Placing an IV is a difficult task requiring a lot of steps and a lot of skills. One of the most important pieces of this process is locating a good vein, and getting the good veins to show themselves all starts with properly placing and tying the tourniquet. Tying a good tourniquet will block the flow of blood back to the heart and cause the veins to swell, making them easier to see and feel. To place the tourniquet, slide it under the patient's arm, then stretch it up and cross the two sides. Hold them together with one hand, and with your other pointer finger, push the middle of one of the ends of the tourniquet under the part that is squeezing the arm. Do not put the tail end of the tourniquet under, because that will be difficult to remove. What we want to do is to create a slip knot that is easily undone by pulling on one of the tails. So when you are done, both tails should be pointing in the same direction from the tourniquet. Pointing in the opposite direction should only be the loop. The tourniquet should be tight, not so tight as to cause pain, but it should be slightly uncomfortable. If they can't feel it, it probably isn't doing its job. It is acceptable to tie the tourniquet over the sleeve of the gown so that the rubber material doesn't pinch the skin, but this is clinician and patient preference. A tourniquet should only be in place for one minute or less. If after a minute you have not located a vessel, untie the tourniquet. You can check the other arm at this point or wait one to two minutes before retying the tourniquet to continue looking on that arm. If tied correctly, the tourniquet is easily removed. Just pull on the tail end that created the slip knot loop and the knot will release, effectively popping the tourniquet off. Take the time to get the tourniquet on correctly. Being able to locate the best veins is a huge step in setting yourself up for a successful IV placement, and the best way to do that is to use a tourniquet.